Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Lewis Hamilton has responded to comments made by Toto Wolf about his future, could there be a plan to stop Rebel, and are Mercedes making a big decision? Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Lewis Hamilton, who's responded to Toto Wolf's comments about him leaving Mercedes. As we know, Hamilton's contract runs out at the end of 2023, but he hasn't yet signed a contract extension with the team. Now the performance of Mercedes last year and this year hasn't been up to scratch, and it led to Wolf saying over the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix weekend that he'd have no grudge if Hamilton looked elsewhere as a result. But when asked about the comments, Hamilton said, I love this team. I'm so grateful for everyone that's been on the journey with me with this team. I don't envisage being anywhere else. I don't see myself quitting. I don't feel like I'm a quitter. Now for me, I could see Hamilton only signing a one-year extension. While I believe he's fully committed to the team, I think he'll be cautious about an extension that's two years or more, given where Mercedes are. I mean, if Mercedes aren't fighting for the title in 2024, then I think it's quite clear that the team won't be competitive while the rules stay like this. Like, they would have had more than enough time by 2024 to know how to find performance, and that's why I think Hamilton will put his faith in the team for one more year. But with Hamilton wanting his 8th world title, I could see him looking to move if Mercedes still can't fight for the title in 2024. But let's move on to the regulations, with overtaking seemingly becoming more difficult this year. As we know, the new rules introduced in 2022 were designed to improve overtaking, and whilst it did that last year, it seems the drivers are feeling the dirty air effect again this year, making overtaking harder. For example, Charles Leclerc was quoted by Automotor and Sport as saying, I could have driven a little faster, but when I was closer to Carlos for a second, you felt the turbulence of the car in front of you. Now following all the bouncing and porpoising last year, this year the floors have been raised by 15mm. But to minimise the downforce loss, it promotes innovations to minimise it, such as attaching slots and wings. And this could be affecting the way the air is flowing, and as a result the drivers may feel more turbulence. Now Walter Motor and Sport says that if this continues, the FIA could intervene, but it reports an intervention could be seen as a way to stop the dominance of Red Bull. So it will be interesting to see what happens going forward, but if overtaking remains a problem, then I do feel something will have to be done, as the point of the regulations was to improve it. But let's move on to Mercedes, where Wolf has admitted that Mercedes' change of concept could extend as far as the chassis design. Due to the team not really improving this year from 2022, the team have made the early decision to start trialling another concept in the wind tunnel, with visible changes set to come to the car in the next few races. Now Mercedes have already implied that the side pods will be changing, with them saying that big steps have been taken. But when asked by Racing News 365 if their redesign intentions will go as far as creating a brand new chassis, Wolf didn't rule it out. He said, So when you speak about the chassis, the question is, do you speak about the monocoque, and basically the tub, or are we speaking about everything else around? But I think the biggest gains that we need to find is how we can extract more downforce all around the track. These are the areas we're chasing now, and if we see that's not enough to actually challenge for the front, then there might be more radical decisions that need to be taken. Now that would be quite a move if Mercedes changed the chassis given how difficult it is to do with a budget cap. Doing it with the aerodynamics is more achievable, but going as far as the chassis is hard. But as I said, Wolf isn't ruling it out. But do you think it's achievable? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.